Alright, ladies and gentlemen, I'm here on my channel, and I'm here to talk about some NBA, the latest news around the league. So, the first thing I'll talk about is, uh, be the NY post about, uh, John Morant. So, apparently, an exotic dancer at Shotgun <laughs> Willie's, funny name, uh, in Denver, they want an apology uh, from John Morant. So, quote, he's clearly begging for attention and trying to be a baller. He should be banned from all clubs and get his NBA career taken away, given our country's current circumstances on gun violence, end quote, via the NY Post. Man, who asked a stripper for their opinion on this? Like, come on. But some people are doing too much. Well, yes, he's clearly begging for attention to me and trying to be a baller and trying to be a thug when he's not. And maybe, I don't know about banning him from all clubs, maybe some clubs. And I don't, but maybe clubs, you could ban him from all clubs. Um, but, to, for his, but to say take his NBA career away, just because of the circumstances, he hasn't shot anybody with a gun. It's just, he shouldn't be doing that as an NBA player, an NBA superstar that some people, some kids look up to. So, I wouldn't take his NBA career away, you just have to... He's just gonna face the consequences for his actions. While well, yes, he's probably be banned from clubs, but you can't take his NBA career away just yet. If he wants to shoot somebody or something with a gun, then yes, but I mean, some people are just saying too much. But if he continues to do what he does with flashing guns, then he might have to think about it. The NBA might have to take, think, think about it. I feel like she just wants money from John Morant. Um, Boston Celtics, per uh, my bookie, um, have the Boston Celtics, my bookie, they still have them, have better odds than the Miami Heat to win the NBA championship. Denver Nuggets have the best odds at minus 114, the Celtics at a plus 310, the Miami Heat at a plus 410, and the LA Lakers at a plus 710. So I don't know how the Celtics are still above the Heat here, because the Heat are up 2-0, they got the W last night, won both games on the road, and they have two games coming up in Miami. I know the Celtics tend to play better on the road, but this is just a joke. With this, keep sleeping on the Jimmy Butler, keep sleeping on Jimmy Butler. And the hate culture. Like, two home games and they're up 2 0. How are they not favored? This is just stupid. I would have the Heat as the second best odds here to win the championship as of now. But we'll see how, what happens in the next two games, though. So, an NBA scout via Adam Zagoria. Uh, so, an NBA scout basically talked about Imani Bates in the quote. Um, here it says, Tons of talent, uh, off-the-court issues have killed his positioning. Nobody's going to put up with John Marie issues unless you are a special player, end quote. So, an NBA scout uh, said this about Imani Bates. Some these anonymous folks say the wildest things. The John, the John Moran issues is a thing. Now, he's only had one off-the-court issue, and I know he did it to himself. But... But John Moran is trying, trying to be a wannabe gangster, but... And Monty Bass has only had this one issue, this one uh, thing. It's like with a gun or something. Like it. They found it in his car, truck or car, I think. He hasn't even touched the league yet. So. And he wasn't flashing a gun on camera. He had one in his car. So. It's kind of hard to say that. And he's, and, he, and and for me, he would still be, be worth a second round pick. Because he's not out there flashing guns like John Morant. He had one in his car and they found it. So, some people say the wildest things. 
the crew chief for tonight's Lakers Nuggets game. Mr. Scott Foster is the lead official for tonight's Lakers Nuggets game. Well, at least he's not going to be the ref in the Heat game. But every, welcome everyone to the free throw line tonight. But the Lakers are going to win uh, now that they have Scott Foster. But the extender of the series has been summoned. He's going to help the Lakers win. He's the extender of helping series get ex extended. The Lakers are definitely going to get like 30 or more free throw attempts tonight. But just why do they have to have Scott Foster as a ref? He's not good. I'm just saying. You just want to get that out of the way. He's the lead official for tonight. So, per the athletic, as I talked about yesterday, the Brooklyn Nets, they're not interested in trading Mikael Bridges per the athletic. Which is not a surprise. I mentioned this yesterday in one of the topics I talked about. Something involving Miles Bridges, and they might, and they won't trade him. How they might not be interested in trading him. And the Nets are low-key in a better spot now with Mikael Bridges as the guy. I don't blame them. And they have more flexibility and are younger now. And of course, without the playoffs have played out, it's very possible they could have won it all this year. However, there was no stability. They just need to add some pieces in the offseason. It's better than having 35-year-old Kevin Durant who can't stay healthy. And they finally found a great player with no drama and willing to give it his all. And at the very least, they have a competitive, competitive team that isn't filled with just drama around. And I wouldn't either, because he's a bucket. He was really good for the Brooklyn Nets after he got traded there. So, of course, they're not going to trade him. And he's going to be an all-star for the next few years, maybe. It's just, when will people finally understand that teams that don't own their draft picks have no interest in rebuilding? Like, they don't have their own draft picks, and they're, of course they're going to keep them. Because there's no point in rebuilding trying to take if you don't have your own picks. So, that's another reason I think they're not, they, they have no interest in trading them. Grant Williams. Grant Williams. He, he made a mistake last night trash-talking Jimmy Butler. And Jimmy, and Jimmy Butler, he shot 85.7% from the field when defended by Grant Williams last night, per NBA stats. So he he made a big mistake trash-talking Jimmy Butler after that three-pointer. When he got scored on, started trash-talking again, getting him get in his face. And Grant Williams, he thought he was him. He thought he was him. He was 6 of 7, 85%. But yeah, I think it's all the NBA. Or the 8 seeded Heat took a 2 0 lead in the Celtics. Obviously, the next two games are in Miami, so. Tatum, Tatum sucks in crutch time, Jason Tatum. He was he had zero field goals made in the fourth quarter. And only points he got were at the free throw line. Tatum in a, in a big game's like, turn those lots off. Turn them off. Celtics really lost after Grant Williams made Butler mad. Ugh. Yeah, that's all for Savers' video. Until next time, I'm like, peace.